Salutations, Internet. I'm Eli Voss, and welcome to an episode of Talking Bicoline. Today, we're going to be discussing the price of the Grand Battle of Bicoline for 2018. Now, I know this is the episode that's been requested a lot, had been requested a lot in the last couple of years. What, how much does it cost to go to Bicoline? You know, what does the Grand Battle cost, etc., etc.? And some of the primary, like, the main reason that I have not done this episode yet is that the prices weren't available. They do change a little bit from year to year, even though, like, ticket prices stay around the same from what I've seen the last four years. Um, but, as of yesterday, May 18th, the prices went up. And they're actually, like, pretty good. <laughs> So, I wanted to make sure I got this out as fast as I could. Would have done it yesterday, but I went to the uh, Tupperware Remix party, um, release party for the new album. It was great. Uh, if my voice sounds a little weird, it might be because I was yelling along with a bunch of the songs. Uh, but, without further ado, let's get in to the actual prices. So, first off, for those of you wanting to register, we gotta go to the Bikulin site so you go to www.bicoline.org. It will it'll take you to this lovely page. I've already got it. I've got these pages uh, translated already. Uh, if, you know, if your browser does not do that automatically, uh, basically what you're looking for is right here. It's the first thing you can really click on, or you could maybe go up to activities, um, click on that, and you want the the Battle of Bicoline or Grand Bataille de Bicoline. Um, you're gonna click on that which is going to take us to the actual information page for this. So the the GB, the Grand Battle, Grand Bataille, is taking place from August, tw <laughs> August 12th to the 19th. August 12th to the 19th. Uh-oh. Did that change? I thought it was from the 20th to the 26th. Oh, oh, I need to change the dates that I have off of work. I need to confirm this. Uh, yeah, make sure that you have your time booked off of work, guy, ladies and gentlemen and everyone else. Um, yeah. <laughs> cool. Sorry to realize that in the middle of a video, but uh, anyway, so it's going to talk about like what you need, what uh, to participate, uh, what you have to do, um, how to arrive and all that, but the actual, it'll be the second link, rates and packages. Click on that, and it come to a page that looks almost exactly the same. Oh, and it, it untranslated itself as I was... Yeah, no. Interesting. However, that's fine. That's fine. Let's, uh, we can go over this anyway. So, basically, here we have your seven-day tickets. So, for members, for from June 24th, or uh, up until June 24th, this is what the costs are. If you are a member of Bicolin, uh, you already have your member card, you're paying $240. If you're like me and you do not, you're paying $270. There's a, you know... $30 difference between these cost of tickets. If you decide to register uh, from June 25th to July 22nd, you're going to be paid $260 if you're a member, $290 if you are just not a member. Uh, at the door, it's going to be $290 if you're a member and $320 if you are a regular person. So uh, pre-register. Save yourself $50. Bucks. Uh, then it talks about children's. Um, let's say... $110 if you're bringing uh, children ages 10 to 15. Um, if you're bringing them, if they're un if you have children and they're under 10, uh, they're free. Uh, so it's $110 till June 24th, $120 from the 25th to the 22nd of July, and $130 at the door. You know, as always, save yourself some money. Pre-register in advance. I'm literally doing it right after I make this video um, because... So that's, that's for the uh, inscription. Then we get down into the packages. I'm actually going to come right back to this in a moment because these packages are pretty great. Um, so if you want to just go for the week for five days, um, you're looking at... I'm just going to go with regular member prices at this point. Uh, you're looking at 230 
250 after the 24th of June or 280 at the door. Not super, you know, not super too bad, but uh, 280 compared to 320, you're only paying an extra $40 for those extra days. But if you can't make it for the Saturday and Sunday or you just don't feel like being around all of those people, hey, fair enough. Uh, if you're bringing your kids, you got 95, 105, 115. Um, if you're just going for the weekends, you just want to go for the uh, Saturday, Sunday, if you're one of those people who, like, you can't get the all the time off of work, you just want to go for the really big battle on Saturday, uh, like the grand battle on Saturday, you're looking at uh, $150, $170 or $200. Again, save yourself that $50. Get your registration in as soon as you can. Uh, they're going to do meal tickets. Uh, later on, I actually want to talk about um, the Biko Zoo days or the um, general admission days. This, this is for the general public to come and see what Biko is like. This is, happens on the Friday of the event. Um, if you just want to check Bikolin out and uh, want to do that, you're looking at $70 uh, for the day, $80 if you're bringing a kid. And I believe the reason for that is that they want to make sure that, uh, you know, you, you keep your kids with you. It's it's kind of almost, it seems like a discouragement to bring your children. And that's because you, it's, you know, kids can be a little rowdy. They can, they can be a little, they can get away from you and it's a big place. Um, but if you're bringing your, uh, your infants or age at, you know, Nine and under, it's free for the day. Um, shower cards. If you would like to have an actual shower at Bico, which, by the way, is amazing. The river is nice. The river is nice. I prefer a nice hot shower after a fight or after a game of troll ball. I don't particularly like the river, but that's just me. Everyone else really goes in the river. But if you feel like paying money to have access to a nice hot shower, uh, you can get two credits for six bucks, eight credits for $20, 20 credits for $48. You don't actually have to worry about pre-ordering this unless they've changed it. Uh, you can get that at the site, at their, at one of their like little general stores. Easy peasy. I highly recommend it. Um, you know, don't neglect your personal hygiene. So then we get into some new stuff that they started offering as of last year, I believe. Um, you can rent a tent. This is great if you do not have access to a vehicle um, that can carry a lot of stuff or you're taking the plane or anything like that. Um, so you're looking at $485 to rent a tent. And I'm going to assume this is like my tent, given that it's literally using the picture. I believe this picture is from uh, uh, LARP Tents. This is the same tent that I have. It could very easily fit two people comfortably. It could fit four people if it's just your stuff and just a cot. Um, but this includes a wooden floor. It's off the ground in Old Town. Um, it includes a camp... It includes the, uh, you know... Does it include the camp beds? Uh, commune... Able, it uh, appears to include that... It appears to include the, uh, the bed, and it includes a chest for you to store your stuff in, and it's a locking chest, which is pretty great but then then ladies and gentlemen it, it get, gets better we have the flat rate packages now i was running the numbers earlier uh you doesn't matter which package you get you are saving at least about a hundred bucks uh they're a flat rate however so if you are a member you do not save as much money um but for anyone if you're getting a group of people together you've got a two-person package and a four-person package um Two-person package, it, so both packages include your tickets for the full week. Two tickets for, you know, adult seven days. Uh, the Medieval Pavilion, I'm hoping that the... Yeah, this is the larger... I'm hoping this one's for the four-person, it's the larger pavilion. If not, whatever, I'll deal with it. Um, because I can't bring my tent with me, and it's way easier this way. This takes a lot of stress off. Um, so, includes two tickets or four tickets, the Medieval Pavilion, uh, two camp beds, so I'm, maybe the, renting the tent doesn't include the beds, but the package does, uh, or four. Um, one storage chest, which can lock, and then either 10 or 20 shower tokens. Uh, you're looking at $965 for the two-person, 
or $1,475 for four, pe for four people. And ladies and gentlemen, that comes out to not a whole lot per person. Like, we're looking at 965 divided by 2. You're looking at about $482 per person. And when your ticket's are already running you, you know, your ticket is already running you, you know, $270, it's practically nothing. It saves you a fair amount of money. Um, then you're looking at, you know, your 1475 one, four, seven, five, divide by four. You're looking at $368.75 per person. Now, this may not include tax, yet still pretty freaking incredible, given that you do not have to worry about bringing your own tent. Oh, um, apparently this does include tax. Um, awesome. $368 per person to go to Beko. Now, this does not include food. You're still gonna be paying probably another 150 bucks for throughout the week for food, maybe more. But my original budget for Biko, just looking at like the cost of you know that and food, and this includes transportation from you know Toronto, Canada, Toronto, Ontario, Canada, was about six hundred dollars for the entire week. That wasn't including like extra spending money, but that was including like gas, uh, including getting there, setting up. Um, food for the week, booze for the week. Um, it was about 600 bucks. Right now, you're looking at about $500 for the whole week for yourself. That's pretty incredible. And that's $500 Canadian, I might add, for those of you watching outside of Canada. So yeah, I wanted to, I wanted to let you guys know as soon as I knew. Had to wait a little bit, but hey whatever. I'm glad this finally got made. I hope you have found this to be helpful. I am 100,000 million billion trillion percent going this year, unless all of a sudden my heart stops working, in which case, well, obviously I won't be there. But everything seems to be fine, so I will see you there. I look forward to seeing all of you there. Um, obviously, I'll be staying in Old Town in one of these tents. Um, cause I'm going with the package. Me and, me and friends are going with that package. That's absolutely incredible. Um, if, uh, the only other way that, uh, I would know of a package like this would be through the Voyage North, but they don't have prices listed. You would have to contact them for prices, and I don't know if they're even accepting registrations anymore. Um, I'm personally not going through the Voyage North, um, If, you know, the packages sell out, the packages sell out, register as soon as you can. I'm literally going to do so right after this. Less than $400 a person for the whole week for your tent and everything. Uh, anyway, I'm going to stop gushing. I hope you have all been having a lovely time. I will, you know, see you all soon when I release my new podcast. Um, you know, that is going to be coming out very soon. I'm Eli Voss. This has been Talking Bikulin. I will see you all next time.